What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about File G and G Soul, BCHG, LTCN, ZCSH, and HSEN at the request of Dell 6083, Landib, or Land JB. I got Land in there, that much I know. And then Mark Balsersack, we're talking about this for you guys. Um, Mark, you requested a bunch, so I wrote four down because it's been two days and I, you know, two requests per day. So uh, I wrote down your first four requests, um, but I'm pretty sure you requested G Soul in there as well. So you're getting five out of like the eight, anyways. But let's put this uh, music on pause. Let's get started. So Mark had a bit of a specific request for most of these. So with File G, we'll just kind of just breeze through it and then we'll go over cycle highs for the other ones because I'm pretty sure that's what, what Mark was requesting. Um, low to high point here. I think this is a perfect area to bottom out. File G, I think you, if you haven't found your low, you're very, very near to it. But I think you found your low. I think so. I think that's it. I like it as a low. I think it fits. It makes sense to me. If you were to go lower, you're at $57 now. You could go as low as $23 to $16, maybe even at least $40, but I like this as a low. You're at $57 now. $40 might be the area you go to. At any rate, I think you're, you're overdue for some kind of substantial bounce. So if you were to buy or DCA here, if it does go lower, just be patient because when, when it bounces, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot higher than the current price. That's for sure. But after all this patience and waiting, I think we're finally at a good area to buy. So it wouldn't surprise me if next week we saw this thing recover a little bit. Wouldn't surprise me at all. But time will tell. We'll see. <coughs> it's file G for Mr. Dell. G Soul is the next one. And G Soul to me looks like it wants to move down lower, I would say. High to low here. Potentially down to 313, maybe even 270. You're at 361 now, so a little bit lower. I think so. It, it looks like it wants to. I could be wrong. If we take this low to the high there, uh, yeah, probably a little lower. I think that 260 to 240 area looks right. I think lower. I think so. Um, as far as cycle highs go, because I know that Mark was wanting to know, I can't really, I can't accurately do that, man. Let's, let, we can try. Let's try, right? I'm not just going to give up on you, but uh, G Soul Grayscale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is not an accurate way to assume things, okay? So don't, don't necessarily do this for everything. But for the data that we have available, um... Let's see. Where, oh where, do I find you? Is it, have they changed their format or am I just missing something? It tells me shares outstanding. Market price per share versus nav price. It doesn't tell me, it normally, yeah, this this number is missing, sold per share. That's interesting. Well, let's do this then. Let's do this, hold on. Google Calculator. We'll do 361. Okay, well, we'll do 53.7 divided by 361. Fifteen percent. Okay, four fourteen point eight percent. Let's just say that fourteen point eight percent. Okay, that number will be important when taking into consideration the potential highs for Solana itself. So Sol, I think, could by the end of this cycle, could see prices all the way up as high as six hundred and seventy dollars, potentially two thousand two hundred and thirty-five dollars. I don't know about that, right? Because I'd put it over a trillion. Let's see, Sol. 
at a current market cap of let's call it 67 billion we'll just round up 67 billion dollars that'd put you near a trillion i don't think you see that but you could see i think a thousand to 670 is possible so let's say you do that let's say you were to see a price of 670. so 670 that number there this number here 14.8 times 670 would give you a price of $99. So at a minimum, I would expect that GSOL hits a price of, uh, that, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Because you're already above $99. Did I do that wrong? That doesn't make any sense. How did I, how did I get to these numbers? Is it not correct? It would have to be correct. Did I do it wrong? No, 53.7 divided by 361. That should be right, so for, that's 14%. And it is 361. Oh, I did do it backwards. Damn it. That's what it was. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay. I know where I went wrong. It would be 361 divided by uh, 53.7. So 6.72. That number times, uh, what was it? 670 times 670 okay my bad you guys 4504 so that would be the minimum kind of expected target if you maintain this same this exact same uh premium will you maybe maybe not you know i don't i really don't know that's a pretty damn high number and i've got no information earlier on than this uh for this thing it used to be earlier on but they they, they changed it um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Long story short, man, how high it could go. It could go as high as $4,000. It's at 361 now. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes to $10,000. I don't know. But that's like the minimum based off of the current premium that we have. If it maintains this by the time that Solana hits all-time highs, then you would expect at least a price of $4,500 or higher. Will that happen? I don't know. You know, that, That's hard to say. So unfortunately, with this one, uh, it's a bit of a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I just. I don't know. But gave it my best. Best try, right? Uh, BCHG. BCHG. I'm pretty confident that BCH has found its low, you guys. That doesn't absolve BCHG from moving lower, but that low does suffice as a low. I think it's fine as a low. You could go lower, but that's fine as a low. Um, We go low to high. I mean, I know someone, there are some people talking about BCHG going to $4 or $2. And it's like, dude, I, I just don't think so. Like, I know everyone, you got vendettas against uh, the grayscale trusts for your own reasons and whatever, you know, but let's, let's not be completely silly here, right? Let's not drop our brains, right? Here's your given trajectory. That you've been holding pretty well, pretty tight for a while. I couldn't expect to see anything lower than 550, personally. It could happen, but you'd break structure. I just don't think we're going to do that. This chart's very bullish. There's a lot of volume backing it up, okay? If we take the relative uh, high here, relative high, to the all-time low, you know, you're, you're back testing your golden retracement zone. It's beautiful. You broke through it. You're back testing it for support. This is healthy. I doubt you go below 780. I doubt you do. You could, but I doubt you do. Um, and that very well could be your low, but I think it is possible that you go lower. In fact, I'm betting on it. I, I would bet that you do. It wouldn't surprise me if tomorrow and starting next week, we opened up a little bit higher. You might go as high as about 16 bucks, but I doubt you go past that and you will likely pull back and then either form a higher low, a double bottom, or potentially a lower low. So time will tell. I have a feeling though that you might go lower than that low. However, again, it is completely possible BCHG has found its low. As far as cycle highs go for BCHG, I genuinely don't know, man. It could be 234. I think technically it'd be 250, right? Two, we'll do all time high to all time low. Cause if we're doing it on a monthly basis, right? I would take that high to that low. 250. 1500 something like that if you want to be conservative 230 1400 whatever but i'm going to take the all-time high all-time all low 
Um, yeah, 250 to 1500. As far as w which one happens, I don't know. It could just as easily be 250 as it could be 1500, but uh, we could even go above $2,000 on this thing. It is possible, and yes, it's only worth 1240 right now, but it's hard to say. But that's that's the given range, and it's a big range. I know that doesn't help out a lot, but that's the, the given range. Personally, I would expect something around here more than I would either of these lines. But I do accept this. This used to be something I laughed at as a possibility. I really do accept it as a possibility now. And we might even exceed that. So don't put anything past this thing, man. Um, yeah, anyways, BCHG, that's that. LTCN, and then we'll talk about ZCSH and HCN and be done with this bad boy. LTCN, also same thing that I was saying about BCHG. I don't know if you found your low. I, I wouldn't be surprised if next week you opened up and you, you moved up a little bit higher, but just enough to give you a lower high that's in sync with this. If not, for LTCN, it's a little bit more dire because from this relative high to this low here, you did close right below your 382. If you get a rejection from here, if you close tomorrow or at any time this week below $29.20, if you close below there, that red line, you're likely condemned to at least 21 or no, what was it? Yeah, no, I think it would be like 20 21 cents to 23 cents something like that Because it was based off of this. That's what it was. It was based off of this fib 21 to 23 cents. Yeah, that's what I would think. I Don't know So a little bit higher next week is what I would expect unless you reject directly off this area and inevitably down So I expect you to kind of do that but time will sell. We'll, we'll see you could have found your low, but I doubt it. I don't like where LTCN bottomed out as much as I like where BC, BCHG bottomed out. Um, as far as all-time highs go for LTCN, we could see 2,500. We could see higher than that. The minimum extension is 2,300, actually, all the way up to 15K. I personally don't think 15K is going to happen. It's a number that's on the expected FIB range, but don't expect it. I don't think so. I would think 5K to 2300 makes more sense to me. And it might sound crazy being worth $30 right now, but I, I genuinely believe these, these numbers are somewhere in between are coming. So that's that. ZCSH, grayscale. Had a little pullback, didn't we? From low to high here, you moved to your 382. Nice move. Could find support. That, that could be it, man. That really You could have found your low already. That might have been it. That's a nice bullish divergence too. I like it for a low. Just don't break below 462. If you break below 462, you're likely going to 283. Okay, that's that. 283 or lower. So don't break that. It wouldn't be crazy if you went down that low, but just don't don't break 462, and you won't even have to worry about it. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's my thoughts on Zcash. I think I think you have found your low, and I think you are working your way up. But prove me wrong. Break below 462. And where will you go for your cycle highs? Remains to be seen. But you know, you could go anywhere. You're at 515 now. You could go anywhere from like $27, potentially to 100, 166, maybe even 335 is possible. But those are the given targets. ZCSH, H, Zen, Horizon. <sighs> Looking a bit bearish a bit bearish after a tremendous kind of parabolic move up of course you're bearish it's okay you could move all the way down to 273 even a dollar 20 you're at 433 now so you've still got a ways to go probably you don't have to go that low but that's my thoughts is that you do um <clears throat> you're at an area on your rsi on the weekly where it wouldn't be crazy to bounce here see a little bit of a reprieve just because you bounce here does not mean you're absolved of going lower you absolutely could form a lower high and then move down it wouldn't be crazy um, it also wouldn't be crazy if you just kept moving down perhaps you move down to about 370 you're at 433 and then you look for a bounce around there a little bounce a little probably a little bounce i wouldn't be surprised if you move down starting next week so that's h then as far as cycle highs go i i really don't know with this one it's not enough data on the chart but maybe $104, maybe $506, maybe past that. It's really hard to say. The premiums can get insane. I, I really don't know. I'm just scratching my head at this. But for what's on the charts, these are the given numbers, 104 to 506 and or higher. So 
that's that. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I do appreciate you very much for coming. Um, you know, next week will be, I think, a little bit more telling of what's to come over the uh, coming months for a lot of these uh, grayscale trusts and other cryptos as well. We've had our little bounce. Now we need the post bounce reaction, right? Most of the market has seen a little bit of relief. Now, which of the market uh, contestants are going to continue to move up and hold these gains, these relative gains, or are they going to move down? Which, which of these uh, coins are going to move down and pursue lower lows? You know, most of the market is probably going to pursue lower lows, but not all of them. So it should be interesting. This next week, I think, will be telling. So curious to see what happens. Anyways, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.